આપણે અંદાજ છે ને શહેર માં જઈએ છીએ સરસ મજાની ફિલ્મ જોવા તમને ફિલ્મ પસંદ પણ નથી આ વખત જરા નોખું છે બાપુજી એક વાત પૂછું ના I think the concept was inspired from my probably would have gathered by now five from my own childhood uh but somewhere down the line I never thought that I would sort of go back and visit my childhood and make a film about it uh but about 10 years ago when I was visiting my parents you know I was told to go and meet my childhood friend who happened to be one of the projectionist and my father said you better see him because he's not doing well I said like what happened uh and so when i met him you know a lot of memories started coming back because he had just lost his job as projectionist because the cinema hall were going digital and so we ended up talking you know what happened to the prints and projectors and we spoke about a lot of nice memories about all this print traveling through the railway because if you know all the prints you know go from one city to another uh the, the so uh so i think that was the first time a thought was there which many years later certain collective memories from my childhood like every time i meet my childhood friends or my sister or brother or my parents they will say oh no wonder you are making movie because as a kid you used to do that and you used to collect so much of junk glasses of all colors and matchbox with images and uh you know we got into trouble when you stole some reel and you know it was from famous amitabh bachchan movie and cops arrived and you know all these stories were there you know in the air uh but it was i never thought that they would become so one day a film you know that there was something interesting to say about it uh, and more i traveled i thought there's nothing exceptional these stories everyone has couple of years ago you know i sort of started thinking about when the film became so elite you know and i was literally told that you can't shoot on a film celluloid who do you think are you christopher nolan or you know so and i suddenly realized that what happened you know i mean when did the celluloid became so elite that i can't even touch it and uh and at the same time i didn't wanted to make film filled with nostalgia because as a storyteller i embrace digital you know there'll be maybe new formats are coming so it was it was a difficult thing to sort of address that how do i make a story which becomes celebration of cinema me growing up as a kid coming of age drama but at the same time you end up paying tribute to the cinema which used to make me dream because i was living in a two reality as a kid one was my immediate reality which was limited to you know f- uh, food films friends school and that was it you know and then you go into the movie there used to be you know larger than life everything over the top you know big spectacle uh so i think all this fascination sort of came together and turn into chello show you know the last film show <laughs> I I think we should look at the future since we are representing India now and we have been selected by the FFI uh, we are the film that's been selected we're honored and we're privileged to have been uh, you know given that uh, responsibility to represent our country uh, you know film is such a subjective medium uh, and everyone will have an opinion on it there's nothing black or white uh, there's a jury that was put together they selected us we're proud and honored and we're going uh, to see what we can do to bring glory to the country That's where I'd like to leave it because uh, you know it's a free country. Everyone's entitled to an opinion, and you know we are we are we are a passionate people, and films is a passionate business. So I think it's only right for people to have high passions when they believe in one movie over another. There's really nothing wrong with that. Fortunately or unfortunately, we as producers, and I'm, I'll, I'll speak for Sid also on this in that sense, is that we're not really, you know, our metric of a film success doesn't come from awards or from laurels. I think that eventually helps with distribution and helps put the film out and gives us a little bit of credit for our decision making. Um, but really, when you believe in a film, you believe in it in totality. Like I never thought. One and one, I never thought that. Oh, this film. When I was reading the script, I never thought this film should win an Oscar. I don't think any producer does that. But when it did happen, and when we did get selected as India's entry, nor was I surprised. You know, because I knew that the film has the capacity to speak to anyone who watches it. 
and that's the beauty of the cinematic medium right when you make a film of this kind it cuts through cultures it cuts through age groups it cuts through every sort of division that we've given ourselves as human beings nationality it cuts through everything and it just speaks to the human inside you so i feel like when you back a film from that perspective um or when you get you know put in your i don't call it backing a film but when you put your man hours into a film like this you know then sky is the limit then nothing surprises you and everything surprises you so i feel like from that perspective i was quite sure and quite prepared uh, to take the film the whole way and i don't think that the oscars is the limit i feel like the 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 real test of this film is audiences and we've really been blessed that the film has worked really well with audiences worldwide like we won an audience award runners up at tribeca we won an audience award in mill valley uh, we won multiple audience awards in europe including in spain we won the best picture at seminchi uh children have loved the film worldwide like in busan um we had a uh, jury members filled with kids and they voted best picture for the film so i feel like it's really spoken to people from the age groups of 8 all the way to 80 in various countries so that's really my metric of the film and i feel like giving credit where it's due completely nalin is not a filmmaker who wants to chase audience uh, to wants to chase awards and you know nalin is not a filmmaker who wants to chase awards or laurels for their film for his film he wants people to enjoy his film festivals is one way to bring the film to international audiences and to attract international distributors which we were lucky to attract some of the best in the world uh but really you know it's way in service of the, of 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 the audience um so i'm just really excited that october 14th is coming up and like people in india are going to get to experience the film on a large scale um and i'm excited to hear what they think of it मैंने ऐसा कभी नहीं सोचा क्योंकि मेरे को ए, एक्टिंग कभी कभी मैं रील बनाता और मेरा फेवरेट है वो क्रिकेट है मैं बहुत क्रिकेट खेलता था और एक स्कूल में आए मैंने कह दिया मेरे को तो ऐसा हुआ था कि वो छोटे छोटे वीडियोस बनते हैं ना उसमें मेरे को ले गए मैंने तो छोटे में ले या बड़े में लिया अब मेरे को क्या फर्क पड़ता मेरे को तो काम करने के फिर मैंने उधर ऑडिशन दिया फिर वो कलेक्ट कलेक्ट हो गया और फिर कहा कि तुम अभी एक्टर हो और तुम अभी मेन समय का रोल तुम कर रहे हो तो मेरे को थोड़ी देर अंदर से खुशी हुई यार अपना तो काम हो गया अब स्कूल तो नहीं जाना अब तो स्कूल जाना नहीं पड़ेगा और फिर इस रोल बहुत अच्छा था और मेरे को ऐसे बहुत मज़ा आया ये ऐसा रोल अच्छा हो गया ना मेरे को हर बार ऐसा रोल दे ना हर बार ही मैं रोल कर सकता हूँ पापा को पता ही नहीं था कि मैं ऑडिशन देने जाऊँगा या नहीं जाऊँगा पर मम्मी को मैंने कहा कि प्लीज़ मम्मी जाने दो मम्मी ने ना किया कि तेरे को नहीं जाना है पढ़ाई में ध्यान दे तो फिर मैंने मैं चाह नहीं पीता हूँ तो मेरा बहुत सिर दुखता है मेरे को अच्छा नहीं लगता चाय पीने वगैरह कोई भी जाता है तो मैं उसको बुलाता है ना भी भले फिर कोई भी बड़ा इंसान हो मैं उसको बुलाता नहीं हूँ ऐसे शांति से मैं दो दिन तक मैंने चाय नहीं पिया था और मैंने फिर मेरे पापा घर पर आए मेरी मम्मी ने कहा कि इसको इतना कैसा सो गया फिर मेरे पापा ने कहा कि कोई बात नहीं कि अपने दो बच्चे एक चला मेरे मम्मी को ऐसा था कि इसको कोई उठा ले जाएगा तो मेरे पापा ने कहा कोई बात नहीं दो है ना एक में दो दो भाई एक एक चला गया तो हमको कोई दिक्कत नहीं हो रहा है और ऐसे मत पापा ने मेरे को पर भरोसे से तक फिर हम विग बनवाने गए पहले मैं हम ऑडिशन देने गया तभी कोई मेरे साथ नहीं मैं अकेला गया था और फिर कल सिलेक्ट हो गया फिर थोड़े दिन के बाद मैंने मेरे पापा के सब के नंबर दे दी कि नंदन सर चेकी भाई का फोन आया तो आपको उधर आना है तो फिर हम गए उधर और नलिन सर मिले उधर धीर भाई मिले और फिर हमने वीक बनवाया फिर जब मेरा जन्मदिन था तो नलिन सर ने मेरे को गिफ्ट दिया था और मेरे को एयरपोर्ट लगे और पहली बार मैं फ्लाइट में बैठा था और मेरे को बहुत अच्छा लगा कि मेरे जन्मदिन पर ये सब किया है फिर मेरे को अच्छा लगा और मैंने फिर दिल लगा के काम किया स्कूल में चीज पढ़ता हूँ वो पढ़ता हूँ ना वो स्कूल प्राथमिक शाला होती है 
ये सरकारी स्कूल में मैं पढ़ता हूँ प्राइवेट स्कूल में आज तक हम कभी भी पढ़े नहीं अच्छा भी नहीं लगता वो तो उधर सब मेरे को ऐसे कह रहे थे कि तुम आगे बढ़ो सर प्रिंसिपल सब मेरे को कहते थे कि तुम आगे बढ़ो तुम आगे बढ़ो मैम सब कह रहे थे पर मेरे को जिस जो लड़की पसंद थी तो रक्षाबंधन आया तो मैं खाना खाने देने जा रहा था और सब बड़े बड़े टैंक आते सबको खाना देने का तो इसमें मैं हूँ तो देने जा रहा था सर आए अचानक से पीछे से सब लड़की सब लड़कियों को बांध मैंने कहा मेरे को नहीं बांधना है मैं जा रहा हूँ मेरे स्कूल में एक ही बैन में बनाया है वो वही मेरे को दर रक्षाबंधन को बांध राखी बांधती है और मैं अचानक से जा रहा था अचानक से पीछे से सर आए और मेरे को पकड़ लिया ऐसे दो हाथ से ऐसे पकड़ लिया ऐसे हाथ लंबा करने का कहा चल लाख सब लड़की आओ और फिर सब लड़की चांदर सब टीलक किया और सब लड़कियों ने राखी बांधी फिर सब लड़के कह अब तो गया तू बेटे तो सब सब मेरे दोस्त है ना वो मेरे को कहने लगे क्या हुआ तेरा अब हाँ ना इधर आई था मैं दो दिन तक किसी सर के साथ बात नहीं किया किस किसी भी दोस्त के साथ में बात किया किसी भी लड़की कोई भी मैम के साथ भी बात नहीं किया मेरे को ऐसा लगा यार क्या हो रहा है <laughs> फिर ऐसा हुआ तो मेरे को हुआ कि अब चलो ना अब क्या हुआ बहन बन गया तो बहन गया अब आगे देखेंगे कोई आएगा तो बोले तो राखी बांधी और मैं अभी रोज कहता हूँ मैं कैसा हूँ कि वो सब कहते हैं गुड मॉर्निंग भैया मैं बोला हाँ भाई गुड मॉर्निंग बहन है जी <laughs> It's a gem, are hard to find. But what is great is our country's, you know, you if you go deep, amazing talent. I mean, you know, every way. Uh, I mean, so-called whatever we call underdog, not you know. But they and also what's great is uh, the kids we had. None of them want to go to city, you know. And I love that so much. You know, they they want to find happiness in where they are. Like if you talk with Bhavin long time, he'll tell you, no, I want to be here. I like the air of Katiawad. I like the my cows. I like this freedom. So you know, those changes are different because when I was growing up, everybody wanted to go to city because they knew there was no future. You know, in the village is like over. So anyway, I mean, going back to the casting process, you know, we. Tendency is to start with actor because it's such a big role, and he had to carry the role of some the entire movie. So you think, okay, we want to get a professional actor, kid who has some experience. So that's where we started. You know, looking at kids who have already done some acting, and that didn't go well at all. You know, then we moved to Ahmedabad, Mumbai. We looked at kids, you know, who have done some reality show ad ads. You know. But it was more and more <laughs> depressing each audition to find what I was really looking for. Uh, then with Dilip Shankar, we started a strategy that why not we go much deeper in interior and do a fine non-actor. Now this is something we had done successfully when I was doing Valley of Flowers because we had to create a gang of bandit, you know, which was. The, 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 the chief of the Dakus was Milin Salman, but every other Dakus were supposed to be like real Ladakhi face, you know, with baked skin and all. And we couldn't find any actor after we did a a auditioning in Mumbai and here. So Dilip and we went out with real nomads and champas in Jangskar and Ladakh and, you know, pe wild people totally. <laughs> and, uh, and we started working with them, you know, and then finally were able to create the gang of these Dakus in the high Himalaya. And it went off really well. So we sort of discussed those kind of non-actor casting that why not, but I said those were adult, you know, these are still kids, you know, do we have a hope? <laughs> so we started, it was a very long process because in a way you can't do audition with non-actor, you can't tell them come read the line and go. So we had six, seven people, you know, working with Dilip, you know, there was Jackie Ramchandani, Nayan Rana, Mihir Upadhyay, a whole lot of people casting and first they used to go to school they will connect with teacher and give some exercise in classroom that in ko kuch karne ke liye bolo aur wo bari mein se chup ke se dekhenge their bachches are not aware you know and then they'll talk to teacher and say who are the naughtiest who are these and they'll collect pick up group of people and they were called out 
you know and then ultimately they were given some task you know to fix things do some jugadu stuff out of you know broken bottles or fix a cycle chain you know while we were filming them and then ultimately the 30 40 were shortlisted out of 3000 audition uh, and we knew that we will find the group of six kids here but within that there was bhavin <laughs> you know and from day one when they arrived you know we knew that okay this is you know he's going to click we were little sure we didn't know whether he could carry such a film he was so tiny you know <laughs> and uh, you know and this soft voice and you know and it was just like a huge decision you know he was two uh, two and a half year younger than now you know and can he carry will he break down halfway so we had to do those difficult tests to say like look let's see the endurance test you know really survive consistency of an actor is really required because after all he's a samay throughout which will be shot over 3 months so there were big challenges you know and also you have to shoot sometime out of chronology so the professional actors can pick up you know continuity and say okay ha uh-huh. so to him we have to work in a all different way like we go into projection room and say okay now you know nothing about cinema next day we come and say you know everything about it you know because we were shooting in different order then you know we were reacting doing the reaction of the movie with a actor like him where the screen is blank he has to imagine that there is a big amitabh bachchan scene playing out there is this because i wanted liberty to edit the clip i want so we will show him lot of clip and say okay now imagine now the screen is going to be blank and you are reacting you know uh, so so there were enormous amount of challenge it was not an easy film to build in that sense for him to go through what the, the emotional journey his character goes through all the way building up to a very emotional climax